the past two years, the team has grown from around 20 to 200. What was the most difficult obstacle for your team during this time? Uh, onboarding. Every good talent, no matter how good they are, if they don't understand how the company works, how they, they attribute or how you want to attribute them into the company, then they actually will have a hard time yeah, being good. It's what they are doing. To ship things worldwide and to pay everyone uh, globally. To maintain the culture. If you really trust your instincts and really hire the right people, you're successful, right? What were some of the biggest mistakes your team has made during this time and how did you overcome them? The team didn't make mistakes, uh, <laughs> to be honest. No, really. It was actually more on, on me and, and Alex. Not growing at the same speed like the other teams made. I had to recruit really, really quickly. We could have hired earlier and faster. So that was more on us. What advice would you give teams facing similar challenges in the hyper growth phase? Yeah, get on LinkedIn. Get a company that you really, really admire and know they are doing it well and just ask them for it twice, literally. Hire really good talent. Hire the right people. Trust them and don't micromanage them. You don't have to micromanage them. And you will see they will bring out the most for you. Storyblock has certainly come a long way in a short time. What is your absolute favorite thing about the company? The team, 100%. The great culture and the people. Definitely the culture. I love the culture at Storyblock. The team is great, the product is great, the customers love you. You know, like everything is just like one step ahead of everything else that I've ever been part of. Would you rather have a duck sized horse or a horse sized duck? A, oh, a duck sized, no, a horse sized duck. A horse sized duck. Duck sized horse because it's super handy, you can, you know, take it everywhere. I always wanted to have a real big dog that I can do sports with, so it would be nice to yeah, have a combination of a horse and a dog. <laughs> In terms of monetizing, I think a uh, uh, duck-sized horse would definitely you know, be, have a better market fit. Imagine you are riding like with that, like completely sustainable, not charging, no like petrol that you need. You just ride your <laughs> duck. Like, that would be amazing. I would love to do that. Like, come on. That is hilarious. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Dominic. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sammy.